Hello and welcome to this week's angling blog. This week you join me on a brand new section of river. We're going to be fishing the bolo for silvers. When I'm making the videos on the channel, I do like to keep changing and exploring new venues. It makes me excited to get out there and try and hopefully keeps the videos interesting and entertaining. What I thought we would do today is I'd bring you along on one of the sessions that I would do when I find a new little bit of river that I want to test out just to see what's in the river and whether or not we can make a blog on it. These sessions are normally like today, short morning sessions where they just come on the river, try it and find out what's in that section of river. And then afterwards I can decide how I want to approach it if I want to come on here and make a vlog. So the purpose of the session today is to learn this new bit of river. So as such, I will be doing a lot of the filming on the GoPro. So I do hope you enjoy the video and this little journey exploring this new little bit of river. Really quickly we'll go over the setup. The rod that I'm going to be using today is the Preston Innovations Carbon Active in 17 foot. I've teamed that up with a Corum Snapper Reel and on there I've got four pound Preston Float Max. That's down to a 2.5 gram bolo, a bulk of Dinsmore Shot with an Olivet and that's down to a size 20 hook and a maggot. So a quick look at the swim. You can see we've got a tree on our right which is going to inhibit you know how far upstream we can cast and the river on a bend we've got a tree below us like i say brand new area um to be trying today so it's going to be great to explore this beautiful looking swim and in summer as you can see everything's green and alive and vibrant a stark contrast to winter you can see a few bubbles over there and the odd fish topping so obviously there's a one or two fish in the area they have give the odd shower today but it's warm with it so you don't really notice it and what we'll do is we'll make a start and see what's in front of us so look at the side tray nice and simple got Cheshire particle hemp and we've got around about two and a half pints of red maggot nice simple side tray and simple tactics obviously the reason being everything eats maggots and it'll give us a good look at the cross section of the river and what what's in the river and maggots are great for that from carp to dace everything likes maggots and when you're exploring new sections of river by far the most important piece of tackle is your depth plummet it'll tell you so much about the river that's in front of you and will be one of the biggest lessons that we learn today is the depth and the depths the fish can feed in but that is by far the most important piece of tackle but for the first couple of trots through like i always say you're just trying to get a feel of the swim that you're in the swim today you can see a, a grebe come up with a fish so there's definitely one or two fish about but that is where i'd ideally like to be getting my bites putting the maggots up here you know, you're talking about a swim that's 10, 11 foot deep, maybe. So ideally, that is where, you know, a nice distance down the swim, you'd want to get your bites. It's a beautiful day for fishing a stick float. It's uh, nice and overcast. And I've got the hold heart going, but if you fish any UK river you've got to get used to bits of tissue and stuff like that and there's a couple of trots through like I say it's just about getting to grips with the swim I'm going to feed the maggots up the swim there just to give me as long a trot as possible On the vlog you hear me a lot say about not putting you know your hemp in at the start and learning the swim and today is a good example of that really um trotting down the third cast right probably in line with where you'd want to trot down there's a snag there and say one or two bubbles coming up which could indicate a snag as well that's the first fish of the day a little roach and that does emphasize the point really you know don't 
put your hemp in at the start you know a lot of it because with rivers trees can come down snags can appear evening swims that you know very well and today's a good example of that because the third shot down we're already onto the first hook link so we'll be avoiding casting right in front of us what it'll also mean is we're going to try and avoid obviously the fish coming up the swim so we're going to you know keep on with the hemp the hemp will help keep them fish down but obviously the maggots are going to have to go a bit further up naturally just so they're on the bottom by the time you know you're getting to your hemp so it's going to be really important today that we try and keep those fish down because yeah that snag is in a bit of a bad spot really because it's pretty much halved the trot if you wanted to start at the top but to get a fish early on is a good sign you know if you fish rivers you'll be very versed in tying hook links <laughs> but i must say the flow is lovely it's going down really nice the float it's got a nice pace to it and given where the hemp is and how deep it is and we're you know going a bit further down that is the area now where you know i'd be expecting you know some of the bait to be on the bottom around about there and it's the second fish of the day one thing we have got to remember as well is if we get anything decent then we have to remember that snags up the middle we're certainly going to head for it so feeding the maggots and i'm going to get into a routine i think of feeding the maggots quite heavy once every couple of casts not every cast just so them fish don't come up the swim we want to keep them you know down there down of where we're fishing most definitely if them fish start coming up to the maggot then we're not going to be able to fish for them because of that snag and i think the bolo is the right choice today generally for me anything over 10 foot i'm moving off a stick float onto a bolo really depending on the pace of the river so hemp in swims like this is definitely your friend um when dealing with deep swims especially and also snaggy swims like i've said before on the vlog hemp is you telling the fish where you want to catch them it's a heavy bait that's going to hold so it's you picking in the swim you know where you would ideally want to get your bites the fact that we've had two roach helps us because obviously hemp is a bait that roach really do like so hopefully despite there being two bad snags in the swim we can you know weave a path through and then really pin them fish down in the swim where we want to catch them because i do believe already there are one or two fish to be caught today if we can get it right but hopefully the start of this vlog just shows that it's not all hunky dory like it appears on some of the youtube videos you know it's not always go straight in and get a bite and it's all nice and easy sometimes you know you hit snags and you have to work it out a bit so over again with the hemp a big pouch of maggots double pouch every other cast and like i thought you know the fact that you know we're getting bites there's fish there to be caught and we just got to get it right there's another fish they are only small fish at the moment but you know where these small fish there is big fish straight over and like i always say get into a routine fire the rod over little pouch of hemp and then you're fishing and you see there that's come right where we just fed that hemp definitely one or two fish to be caught looks like the first better one of the day and there we go there's that little chublet 
a slightly better fish than what we've been getting but one thing it does tell you it's got quite a few maggots in its mouth so what that tells you is that your bait is getting to the bottom them little signs just let you know what you're doing is right we're getting the bites right where we want to get them and the fish have got maggots in the mouths which tells you them maggots that we're putting in there are getting down to there and hopefully if we can keep that hemp going in just keeping them down we can get one or two bites because there's definitely a few fish about like i've said So as you can see there, it's getting plenty of bites. We must be up to, what, 20 fish now, maybe? It's been steady fishing. So all of a sudden, there's just been one or two trees coming down and a lot more debris on top of the river. And it has quietened down a bit. The river just looks like it's maybe rose a little bit. Now, normally that would push the fish, you know, to feed, but today it seems to have done the opposite we were getting like you've seen steady bites on the hemp but just that increasing pace on the river just seems to have knocked it a little bit which you know you're still seeing the odd fish top but actually you know getting the bites like we was just seems to have slowed down a bit so with the pace picking up out there just going on the edge of the crease um, and started to feed another line it's a lot shallower just on the edge of the crease here it's probably half the depth that it is down the middle so I'm just going to take my time and be patient and just keep trotting away on this line here and see if we can get a few fish but what will happen is if the flow picks up out there the fish will naturally come into the slack of water you can see there we'd stop getting bites out in the middle and second cast literally on the rod tip we're picking up a fish So because we are only on a, a short session today, just exploring a new area in the morning, then what you'd normally do here is change over to a stick float. You know, it'd give you a better presentation in that depth of water. But because we've only got like an hour of the session left, just making do and just seeing what I can catch, you know, just using the bolo and the bulk shot. But certainly if you had a stick float on here, I think you'd be getting more bites. But that is how you can, you know, learn new areas. Like today we've learned, you know, you can go on the bolo and catch fish. It's quite snaggy. But you can also go rod tip and catch fish literally at the end of the rod. We've also learned the depths of the swim and 
this is all in one session that you can you can learn all these things that will set you up for future sessions you know obviously we know there's mixed species there must be bigger roach in here and bigger perch and stuff like that and these are all the little things that you can learn just from what four hours on the bank just exploring a new area And you can see there, you know, right on the end of the rod tip. And there we go, a beautiful little troublet caught just off the rod tip. It just shows how building the swim is just the same close in as it was further out. And all species getting on the act. It's been great fun, this short morning session, just exploring and learning and it's a swim that we'll definitely be back in to build on Well, there we go that's the last fish of the session we've been having some great fun just getting them bites off the end of the tree so let's have a look at the final net and have a bit of a recap of the session so the session does come to an end there now and as you can see on screen we've had a good mixed bag of fish plenty of species and like we said at the start maggot would give us that insight into the species that are contained within this section of the river Coming away from the bank, we've learned that obviously there's quite a few snags in the river, but we've learned also that we can catch fish down the middle and quite close in, and they do seem to like coming onto the hemp. A lot of the bites today were right on top of where I was placing that hemp. So there's plenty to take away from this little short session on the bank, and what I would do now is take that to one side and build a plan to come back and make a video. I hope you've enjoyed this little insight into the prep that goes into the videos you see on the channel and the amount of effort that goes into making the videos. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I wanted to wish you all tight lines in your own fishing. I'm going to pack away in the rain and I'll catch you all next week. Tight lines.